All right, guys. So just trying to give a rundown of everything that went down now that everything is over and uh, we've left the arena. So basically as soon as the count, uh, the tally was announced and everybody was cheering and everything, we decided uh, individually, of course, to stand up and um, walk off the floor. Um, and it wasn't meant to be a fit about Bernie not being elected, um, which could be seen as childish or um, sore losers, that sort of thing. That's not what it was about. Um, it was really about us saying that we aren't going to stand by and let this entire convention go by without our voices being heard. Well, we're not going to let this go by being a giant Hillary party, saying that we are all united and everything's beautiful and wonderful and kumbaya. Uh, because the mass media has been, the mainstream media has been um, broadcasting it that way. We can see it on little TV screens that they are showing, that is showing what um, is being presented to you guys live. And it's not what I'm seeing. You know, hopefully my videos, even though I know they've been terrible quality and shaky and everything else, um, but they've been real and they've been as I'm experiencing it and trying to um, to experience it first and foremost and share with you guys while I'm doing it. Anyway, so the, it was about saying that we are not unified and that things have been wrong. We have been wronged in this entire process leading up to today and including today, um, and including the convention. Okay, so what we did was uh, we all stood up and uh, those Bernie people who are willing to participate, understanding of course that some people were afraid of being arrested, um, afraid of the consequences, afraid of the unknown, um, any variety of reasons they didn't, but most of us did. And uh, you'll see from my videos that we chanted down the halls. Um, it was supposed to be a uh, silent protest, completely silent, completely respectful. But, um, you know, when you heard a bunch of free-thinking cats, people get started. And once a chant gets started, you know, it keeps going. So um, so there was many chants. A lot of them were, this is what democracy, democracy looks like. And, um, yeah, so watch my video there. You see us walk out. We walk out to the media tent. And even though it's called the media tent, it is a very large uh, structure. It's temporary, but it's got glass, um, entire glass side, it's got solid glass doors. No, the red are fuller passes, orange is for alternates. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, um, we walked out, oh yeah, so it's, it's temporary substructure, substructure, but it's also really sturdy, it's a real building. And we all wa marched out there, the idea was that you know, we didn't want to disrupt what was happening on the floor. Again, we didn't want to be seen as just sore losers and bullshit, whatever. Um, so we went to the media tent because that's where you go when you want the media to pay attention. And we wanted the media to be able to hear our message. And there was someone that is uh, decided that they would speak for our collective um, issues and represent us. And... Uh, so we were there for a while and the idea is we would wait for her, but she was blocked out. And that's when we learned that we had been locked into the building as we were all sitting there quietly. Um, and uh, the, uh, the whole wall of glass doors was lined with police officers, one per single door. So I, I don't know how many that would be. I didn't see the whole line of them, but it's a lot. And it was lined on the inside, it was lined on the outside. So we could not get out. And many of the protesters who were behind the, the initial group were unable to get into the building. Um, why they did that, I don't know. Uh, perhaps they just didn't want the crowd to get bigger. Maybe they didn't wanted the crowd to look small because there was a big crowd of people outside, a big crowd of people inside, but you don't see them together. Whatever. Anyway, whatever the reason was, that's where we were. And um, so we were there for quite a while. And then we heard that the mothers of the movement, uh, part of the Black Lives Matter movement, were coming up onto the stage. And we wanted to be there in solidarity for them because that's not at all what we were protesting. So we just we collectively decided that we were going to go back inside. Um, and what ended up happening is we kind of pressed up against the glass and fanned out because we could not get out. And you'll see some shots of me. I'll post some later. I've got some that uh, a friend of mine on the outside uh, took of me standing pressed against the glass in solidarity with the people on the outside and us protesting together through the glass. And really, it was an amazing, beautiful image seeing that. And uh, so after a while of us doing that, all lined up against the glass, uh, eventually they did let us out. 
and um, so we rushed as quickly as we could into the building. Some delegates chose to leave. Um, there was protests in FDR Park, and they wanted to continue the protest there. Others of us, uh, like myself, I wanted to get back in to be in solidarity with my girl Tracy, and um, it, it, as far as the Black Lives Matter movement. So I went back in, and uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. <laughs> This is a contested convention, and no matter what you're seeing on TV, we are not united. And it is literally like 50-50 by the time you account for the alternates and the guests and everybody else. We are not a united party. And Bernie did what he had to do based on his own values, and I respect him for doing that. But as you know, all of you, we are not sheep. The reason we are Bernie followers is because we are thinkers. We come to our own conclusions. We form our own opinions. And my opinion is that he should not have conceded, but I respect the man. So, anyway guys, we are going to try to find a march. Um, we've heard some rumors of a couple places that it'll be. These are not permitted march. What's that? Okay, we're hurried. Well, let's walk. Well, we'll walk. I'll keep talking. Um, so, we're, they're not permitted events, so they'll, they could potentially be broken up by police and that sort of thing, and we understand the risk that we're taking in that. But, um, you know, we are here to send a message. That is what we're here for. And, you know, we are peaceful warriors and we'll continue to show them what democracy looks like. Love you guys. I'll uh, post something later to make sure you guys know that we're safe and back home and all that. What's with all the helicopters constantly? Anyway. <laughs>